Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another weak code question, check if it is a straight line. Okay, so let's look at this problem statement and understand what the question is asking. You were given an array coordinates with coordinate i equals xy, where xy represents the coordinate of a point. Check if these points make a straight line in the xy plane. So what the question is basically saying is that we're given a coordinates uh, 2D matrix. And in this matrix, the um, first position is the X coordinate and the second position is the Y coordinate. So if I were to draw this um, out in a graph, so you see the one, two. So that means that the X coordinate here, this is the X. So the X coordinate here is one and the Y coordinate is two. So that's what the question means. And what they're asking us to find is if this graphs out a straight line, then we need to return true. So our output should be Boolean, so Boolean true. Uh, otherwise, if it doesn't make a straight line, then we need to return false. Okay, let's look at some strategies we can use to solve this problem. Great, so we need to make two observations to solve this problem. So the first observation is if I'm given two points, um, the line between those two points is always going to be straight. So if I'm going given two points, so if I only have these two and that's my input, I can safely say that I need to return true because um, if we draw a line between any two points, there it's always going to be a straight line. Okay. And the second thing we need to observe is our slope. So let's do a review of what our slope um, means and how that relates to this problem. So the slope is rise over run. So what this means is our y2 minus y1. So this is, let's say this is y1 and then this is x2 and this is y2. So we need to take the difference of um, y2 and y1 and we'll take the difference of x2 and x1. All right, so what does this get, that give us? So 3 minus 2 is 1 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So our slope is 1 for, for this these two points, these first two points, right? So my slope is 1 here. Now what do I what do I need to ensure to find that my slope at each point is also going to be the same. So if our slope is the same, that means the growth um, of this line is the same, which means it is a straight line. And we can apply this concept to figure out whether it's a straight line or not. So let me give an example um, of how we can compare this to another point and find out um, if the slope is the same or not. So let's say we have our initial um, x and y here, x1 and y1, right? And we're comparing it to the last point. So 6 and 7 here, right? So we can say that this is the new y. We can call this a new y. And this can be new x. So we'll do 7 minus 2 which is 5, and we'll do 6 minus 1, which is also 5. And this 5 over 5 is 1. So again, you can see that our initial slope is equal to our slope at any other point in this grid. So that's what tell it, tells us that, yes, this line is straight because the rate of growth is the same. Um, now let's take a case where this slope is not the same. So let's say I had a point here. So 7, 7, right? So instead of 6, 7, let's say I had 7, 7 here, right? So the, my new x is 7 and my new y is 7. Now we do 7 minus 2, which is 5, and then 7 minus 1, which is 6. So this is not equal to our um, initial slope, which is 1, right? So in this case, the answer would be false. So if you understand these two concepts and how to apply them, then the code is pretty straightforward. Okay, so to review the solution, the time for this would be 
OFN since we're iterating over the coordinate and the space, sorry, the space is actually O of 1. We're not creating any auxiliary space. We're just doing um, in place operations here. So the space is O of 1, yeah. And to, um, the first thing we need to do to solve this problem is to get the initial slope, slope which we did. So that's a 1. And um, we need to compare if the next slopes are equal to our first slope. And if that's the case, then we just return true. Otherwise, we return false. Okay, so if this makes sense, let's look at the code and I will provide two different solutions that I wrote to solve this problem. Great, so I'm back in late code and I will start off with the solution I wrote first before making this a shorter solution. So the runtimes are the same, it's just a matter of organization. So the first thing I did is grab my first x and y and then the second x and y from the second um, row in our coordinates. So that's why this is a one here. Um, and then I'm just getting the rise and the run. So this is the delta y and the delta x. And I wrote a function to get the slope. So let's say init slope gets us our initial slope and then the next thing I'm doing is getting the new x and y coordinates and I'm just comparing if those new coordinates are um, equal to my uh, initial slope or not so this so I'm getting the new slope by by plugging in the new coordinates and what I'm doing is I'm just returning false if the initial scope slope is not equal to the new slope. So that's what is going on here and if everything else passes then just return true. And then this is my get slope function and the reason I um, did this if statement is because I noticed that if you um, divide by zero you get a runtime error because you can't divide by zero. So that's why if the run is um, zero, right? So you need to handle that case. So this is sort of a exception handling. Okay, so this is the second solution that I wrote after looking at some of the other solutions on leak code. And what I realized is um, instead of dividing the delta y and delta x, what we can just do is cross multiply. So if this is our slope function, uh, what we can do is just multiply our um, delta y with our new um, x. So just using that, we can avoid dealing with the exceptions when our denominator is zero in this case. And so that's a much shorter solution. And that's the second solution that I wrote for this problem. So all the other parts are the same. So this statement is just comparing again. Um, it's the same idea if our um, slopes are the same or not. Because to check, it's, it's the same thing as checking this, as doing the cross multiplication and checking um, whether they're equal or not. So that's the only difference in this solution. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. All right, happy coding, guys.